So we're going to all just close our eyes right now. And if you can join me in taking a deep breath. And as we slowly release this breath, we just allow our bodies to rest into whatever position we find ourselves in. Sometimes we're walking, sometimes we're, we're uh, driving, perhaps we're sitting. Sometimes it makes it capable for us to close our eyes or maybe we're not able to close our eyes. The idea is that we can turn within and we can rest into the place and moment we find ourselves in. And so as we continue to breathe in and out, let's just go down through our forehead and our jaw, neck and shoulders and relax. Go down through our arms, into our hands and fingers, relax. Go down through your torso, into your legs and feet, relax. We're becoming consciously aware of our physical body and allowing those areas of our body to relax. We're allowing our mind to tell our bodies it's time to relax, to rest. You've been a wonderful servant, but you are a servant, not a master. And so we allow our minds to consciously relax this physical body, allowing it to find the peace that it is entitled to. We're not angry with our bodies. We're not upset that the body represents form. We are willing to rest for a moment from any judgments about our physical bodies, any needs our physical bodies may have, any dis-ease we may be experiencing in our physical body. We're willing to allow that body to be a wonderful servant to us. And so into those areas where we may be experiencing some sort of dis-ease, we invite the presence of love. Because that dis-ease represents a thought of fear. And so into that thought, we allow love's presence to be made manifest, knowing that love is always present. And all we have to do is be willing to rest in the truth, not attack the illusion, but to simply rest in the truth. So into that area of our body, we allow the presence of love to be made manifest. Let's take another deep breath together. As we release the breath, let's go to our minds right now. If we've been experiencing some sort of dis-ease in our minds, thoughts about the past or anticipations about the future. We're locked in fear as well. And so to the thoughts in our minds, we allow love to rest on all of those issues, all of those thoughts. Not in anger or in fear or in judgment, but in full awareness of the truth. Again, what is not love is simply fear and nothing else. And so into that thought of fear, we invite the presence of love. That's what forgiveness is. A willingness to allow love to reign. It's not a silly thought or a childish thought. Love is more powerful than the illusions of the world. It's more powerful than all the physical issues we may be going through and all the emotional issues we may be going through. Love is what will heal this planet. But not love in the way we've decided, in the way that we are guided by the infinite power of God's love, by the power of the Holy Spirit to work through us in this world in a way that lets love be a powerful and practical tool. And this is the way of forgiveness now. And so with a willingness to experience the power of love, we affirm these thoughts that forgiveness offers everything I want. What could you want? Forgiveness cannot give. Do you want peace? 
or forgiveness offers it? Do you want happiness, a quiet mind, a certainty of purpose and a sense of worth and beauty that transcends the world? Do you want care and safety and the warmth of sure protection always? Do you want a quietness that cannot be disturbed, a gentleness that never can be hurt, a deep abiding comfort and a rest so perfect it can never be upset? All this forgiveness offers you and more. It sparkles on your eyes as you awake and gives you joy with which to meet the day. It soothes your forehead while you sleep and rests upon your eyelids so you see no dreams of fear and evil, malice and attack. And when you wake again, it offers you another day of happiness and peace. All this forgiveness offers you and more. Forgiveness lets the veil be lifted up that hides the face of Christ from those who look with unforgiving eyes upon the world. It lets you recognize the Son of God and clears your memory of all dead thoughts so that remembrance of your Father can arise across the threshold of your mind. Why would you seek for an answer other than the answer that will answer everything? Here is the perfect answer given to imperfect questions, meaningless requests, half-hearted willingness to hear, and less than halfway diligence and partial trust. Here is the answer. Seek for it no more. You will not find another one instead. God's plan for your salvation cannot change, nor can it fail. Be thankful. It remains exactly as he planned it. Here is the answer. Would you stand outside while all of heaven waits for you within? Forgive and be forgiven. As you give, you will receive. There is no plan but this for the salvation of the Son of God. Let us today rejoice that this is so. For here we have an answer clear and plain beyond deceit in its simplicity. Here is the answer. Do not turn away in aimless wandering again. Accept salvation now. It is the gift of God and not the world. Remembering the gifts forgiveness gives, we undertake our practicing right now with hope and faith that this will be the day salvation will be ours. Earnestly and gladly, we will seek for it today, aware we hold the key within our hands accepting heaven's answer to the hell we made, but where we would remain no more. Morning and evening do we gladly give this time to the search in which the end of hell is guaranteed. Begin in hopefulness, for we have reached the turning point at which the road becomes far easier. Before the light you will receive today, the world will fade until it disappears, and you will see another world arise. You have no words to picture. Now we walk directly into light, and we receive the gifts that have been held in store for us since time began, kept waiting for today. Forgiveness offers everything you want. Today let all things you want be given you. Let not your gifts recede throughout the day. As you return again to meet the world of shifting change and bleak appearances, retain your gifts 
in clear awareness as you see the changeless in the heart of change, the light of truth behind appearances. Be tempted not to let your gifts slip by and drift into forgetfulness, but hold them firm in your mind by your attempts to keep them at least a minute as each quarter hour passes. Remind yourself how precious are these gifts. With this reminder, which has the power to hold your gifts in your awareness throughout the day, as we affirm, forgiveness offers everything I want. Today, I have accepted this as true. Today, I have received the gifts of God. And so think right now, what is it that worries you, concerns you, burdens you, causes you to sigh even just a little? We bring it right now to the gift of love, to, to God's healing power. Bring it to your mind. And if you can't think of anything, think of those dear ones in the prayer ministry tonight. Whatever it is they may be going through, we bring their thoughts. We bring them, Father, to you. Perhaps we think about this world and the circumstances and situations that are taking place. We bring them to you. Because forgiveness offers everything we want. And right now, in the face of our challenges, in the face of those in the prayer ministry's challenges, in the face of the world's challenges, today we accept forgiveness as the truth for us for all of us today we are ready to receive the gifts of God the gift that forgiveness brings as we allow it to rest on the circumstances and situations of our lives forgiveness offers everything we want the peace that we so desperately seek the love we so desperately yearn for the contentment of our hearts we allow forgiveness to rest even if we do not understand it fully. God has promised us it is the answer. Love is the answer. And so we are willing to trust as a child trusts a parent. Forgiveness offers everything we want. Today, we accept this as the truth. And today, we receive the gift that God has in store for us. We thank you, Father, for the powerful thought and the powerful practice of love. We thank you for the gift you've given us in the life of Jesus and the continuing help through the Holy Spirit. We invite that Spirit to be in this gathering right now, to be our eyes, our ears, our hands, our feet, our words tonight, so that every expression this evening may be kind and loving and a reminder of the truth that forgiveness does offer everything we want. And we are willing to step back and let you, the power of love, lead the way. Thank you. And together we say, 